everybody wants to be spiritual. Everybody wants to be spiritual. Everybody, not everybody, a lot of people complain that they, they talking, I mean, they, 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 they're trying, but they're not, they're not able to become more spiritual. Let me explain to you something. Let's say I want to learn uh, martial art. I want to learn Wing Chun, right? Ip Man. I want to be like Ip Man. I want to learn Wing Chun. And I, I know the history of it. I know how many uh, movements are there. I know the, you know, all the katas. I know everything, right? Is that going to make me know it? No. The same thing in spirituality. You talk about it. You read about it. But you neglect one thing. That there is no, if there is no transformation into, of any, of, of one aspect, of anything of your life, into a spiritual way, you're not going to become spiritual. In order to start practicing, feeling, becoming aware of spirituality, you must make a transformation. The same thing. Let's say, for example, I'm a secular Jew, okay? I might know about Judaism. I might think I know about Judaism, about history, about this, about, I have an opinion. But does that make me anything? I need to make a certain commitment to that. That's why I keep telling you all the time. A commitment is the basic, in, and when we say in yeshiva, commitment, dedication, and balance, right? These are the three most basic and necessary steps in the spiritual growth of the person. The, but the first one has to be commitment. You have to commit yourself. And how you commit yourself? By transferring. You're transforming a certain aspect of your life to other. By the way, to live secular life, I can tell you, you might think that it's so wonderful that it is a very, very pathetic way to live life. I was watching people who were eating and they're not making a bracha. And I'm saying, sometimes I see a non-Jew eating. I was like, I took a bracha, but forget it, you know. To, how can you eat without saying thank you? Again, if you are doing this as that's why I have to do, so it's you haven't transformed anything. But if you understand the level of appreciation, and now you're committed to this mahalach, to this lifestyle, to this way, so now you could start propelling yourself towards reaching the goal of becoming a more spiritual person. But therefore, transforming yourself means you need to give up on something that you've been doing so far. And if you haven't transformed, in other words, you therefore were not committed to what you say, so you could become very knowledgeable about a topic, but never be in the topic. So that's why a person that learns Torah eventually transforms himself into another person. Here, through the commitment, by sitting down and koveya itim la Torah on a regular basis, learning Torah on a regular basis. Not just like you're reading, uh, you know, uh, uh, the New York Slimes or the Daily News or Daily Snooze. You know, or the Washington Compost or any other ones, right? By learning Torah, koveya itim la Torah, you're committing yourself. By committing yourself, the Torah, therefore, slowly start helping you to transform. So that in order to transform, you need commitment. That's why it's the first step that we set to ourselves here in the yeshiva, commitment. And you'll see the guys who come on regular basis, the guys who come on regular basis. And it doesn't make a difference, you know, we have certain guys that work, we have guys that go to school, and, we, and those guys come all the time. You see the transformation of the person as they grow. And I'm sure if you look at yourself in the mirror, you know, you'll see that the difference, you know, you, all of a sudden you realize you're not the same person in your world. And the reason is why? Because you transform yourself. How? Because you were willing to commit yourself to the learning of Torah, to the spiritual process. Again, if people are not transforming, is because 
not that it's not because they're not able and not capable, it's simply because they haven't committed themselves to it. After that, we have the, the dedication and the balance, which are the most difficult things to, to reach. Ultimately, it's the balance of everything. To be balanced is the most difficult act to be. However, the first stage on spiritual development is transformation and commitment, commitment and transformation, that, that would cause that. After you transform yourself, now you are dedicated. Dedication, in, in, in our terms, is not that I'm dedicated that to, uh, to the museum of, uh, you know, it's not, it's not that what we're talking about. It is the Hebrew concept of dvekut. Dvekut means devik, glue, to attach yourself. I'm attaching myself to that. So let's say, for example, a person, Lehavdil, wants to learn martial arts. So he goes and this and this. And now all of a sudden, he, you know, he's transforming himself. He starts thinking like a martial artist. He starts eating like a martial artist, right? And a martial artist will eat different, will eat different food. He's transforming himself, right? He's committed to that lifestyle. However, how do we know when he becomes a real martial artist? When he's dedicated, now he's tired, his leg hurts, his, and these are all indications to where he's actually going to start working. In, in the martial art world, when you have pain, is that the point that you start, not the point that you stop? To most people, when there is pain, they stop. This is not, so in martial arts, when it starts hurting, that's, until then it was the warm-up. Now the real work will start. So when you're tired, Lehavdil, when you're tired and you have tests and you have finals and your mother law is sitting on your head and everything else, and he said, no, 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 I don't really care. No, I am attaching myself to the commitment which I made. This is how you become a Ben Torah. This is when I learn, my learning starts. My learning starts is not when I have like, you know, la di da I'm sitting there like this with a cigar in my hand and, uh, you know, in a, right? This is not what it is. It's when I'm tired and when I'm, when I'm in pain and when I'm busy. And this is when my learning starts. Now I know. And after I reach that, in order to continue, I need to balance everything out. Balance things out means I need to make sure that I am a balanced act and not going into extreme because at the end it's going to give me to be tool Torah. I need to find, after I reach that, I reach that spiritual goal, I need to find the golden path and that's the balance. I need to go in between this. And that's what we always, everybody refers to the Rambam, the Rambam, the Rambam. Eh? But if you're learning the Rambam, you need to learn the Rambam appropriately, not to twist and turn his words to fit your doing. This is not balance, it's not dedication and absolutely not commitment. So if you want to succeed in anything, and especially in your Avodat Hashem, start committing yourself to it and allow it to transform yourself. Transformation is a must. You can't be the same person doing the same nonsense as you've been doing so far in so many years, learning to write, expecting it to just happen to you. And then you guys, you know, I've been learning on the same, the same idiot as I was before. Transformation must take place. If you want to go on a spiritual journey, transformation is a must. Have a great day.